Do you guys have any advice for those who want to pursue their passion for music but are too afraid or hesitant to do so? Uh, for me, like, it's important to seek out mentors, seek people out to, like, guide you or, like, share with you the perspective that they have with regards to music. Because something I noticed a lot, like, a lot of musicians that are our age, a lot of them are hesitant to, like, a lot of them are hesitant to play with others. Um, I think that also has to do like these days. There's DAOs and there's there's DAOs and like Ableton and GarageBand, Logic, all of those that make it so easy to like feel like you're not playing with others. But for me, because I really love that idea of being able to learn from other people, so it's really important to seek mentors and especially for something like music, which is so which is intangible also. It's important that you're able to share perspectives with other people, because like if not, it ends up just becoming like a, a bell jar. I think for me, I kind of related to Joaquin, what Joaquin uh, said, but I think um, instead of mentors, I think it's also equally as important to find like your circle of friends who kind of listen to music. Also, I think I'd really recommend anyone who's kind of scared of. To pursue music, to actually go, to go to lots of gigs, watch lots of gigs, because you meet lots of people um, who share the same interests with you, and you end up talking about music. You might figure, you might um, learn that someone else is pursuing music also, so that could potentially you know, inspire and motivate you to do the same. So I think really kind of building your network and group of friends in the whole music thing is equally as important as having mentors. And I think, especially within music, where kind of making, where kind of you get really close once you once you meet people who share the same interests in music, it's very easy to grow that kind of network and connection with people. So I think that's one of the very first few stepping stones I'd recommend to anyone trying to or hesitant in pursuing music. Yeah, I would agree with what ano, Joaquin and Bernard said. I think it's very important to um, seek mentorship and also to like um, collaborate with other people. But I also think, naman, like personally, it's also very important for you to like just listen to different kinds of music. Like you know, don't keep yourself in a box. Like for example, if you're like a rock musician, that does, that doesn't mean you can just only listen to rock music. But you know, if you listen to, for example, um, jazz or soul or like R and B, I think that will also provide a lot of sort of, you know, insights or just kind of new ways for you to approach your instrument. Um, and also on that note, parang not just, you know, listening for the sake of listening, but also kind of listening intently. I think parang that's a bit overlooked these days because, I don't know, I just noticed parang a lot of people, when you point out something in a song, um, they might not necessarily catch it. So, yeah, I feel like as a musician, um, I feel like there's a lot of value in you know listening intently to a specific song, especially if that song is like played by your favorite drummer or played by, um, or even just like a new artist you're listening to. Because I feel like you know there's a lot of um, thought and intention that goes into the making of a song, and if you listen quite closely to it, you'll be able to you know pick those out. Yeah, similar to my advice would be just to go for it and see how far it can take you. It's really nothing will happen if you just sit, sit in your ass. So you just gotta go for it, talaga. And then if you suck, then you don't go far. But if you're good, then you go far. It really depends on how people receive you. Um, but yeah, just don't be shy. Failure, failure is only you know once, and then you can come back and try something else. 